Uh, we're going to make so much smoke. So, so much smoke. Now I know what you're asking. Dub, how is, how is that going to make smoke? Well, for starters, have, I don't have enough. Can I seriously not get you in my inventory? Okay, um, let's put my salad away. How can I pick you up? All right. We've got a whole bunch of... That's a beautiful model, isn't it? Oh, hang on. When it will pollute, blah, 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 blah. Legally? Hell yeah, we are legally allowed to pollute. Let's put you in there. Grab my salad again. Take that, thank you. Because I need this because the amount of stuff that we're about to transport is not not practical by cart. And I'm also suddenly regretting not making this road a lot wider. So the first bit today is that we are in zero point. 0.807, which is a hot fix. Uh, I honestly have not played the last two versions, the 05 and 06. 05 was entirely uh, multiplayer economy stuff. 06 had a bunch of neat stuff, but it updated. It the 06 update came this morning before I went to work. Thought, well, I'll get to it, and then I got home and it's 07. There's some fixes. And one of the fixes is things like this. Uh, you notice in my inventory that uh, iron ore actually looks like banded iron in a block of sandstone. That's uh, I, th I think that's really cool. We've also done the same with uh, with gold, and I assume copper. I don't have either. No, I moved all my gold somewhere else. But we're gonna load up on iron ore. All this iron that I've pulled out of the ground over here. How much can I carry? I can carry 5,000 kilos. Top out at 8 stacks and a bit. We're just going to have to forego the bit. I'll put that in my own inventory. Now, notice we're... Uh, out of the way, cart. We're not headed directly into the slag tomb. And we're not headed down there because that's a ramp. And I have not made this trip with the truck yet. I have not. I'm hoping to keep track. Um, I can see already that I think my bridge needs to be at least one wider. Because the weird part is, you're actually like you're not positioned directly behind the engine. You're actually sitting to, like to the side. So I, I I have to keep guessing as to where the center of the vehicle is in relation to the bridge. <laughs> and then we've got a lot of weird turns to do over here. So we're gonna find out how bad an idea this was. Oh, you corner like a drunken moose. Clunk clank. All right. Over here, I've done a bit of work on trying to deuglify this place. All I've really done is turn it into, uh, oh boy, oh, that was close, into an awful lot of stone and stuff. And you see right there, this is today's project. That door open and closing for no reason. Right here, oh, and also, uh, I got on, and the uh, cacti are significantly greener. And, can I fit they up here? This desert moss has a whole new look. It's more like, more like sagebrush. Than, uh, than desert moss, but that's their thing. So, this whole experiment today involves, where's my... 
which stockpile it is. All right, here, I'll show you. Um, you still think we're back at the base. This is an interesting bug. Why do you still think we are back? That's, uh, okay, that's a slight problem there. Behind this wall. Okay. Unless we got a bunch of stuff. This is all completely bricked in. I remember that uh, blocking in slag is supposed to kind of isolate it from polluting a whole bunch. There we are. So I'm going to fill that thing with slag and see how well it blocks the pollution. Go with this. This is the, uh, that's the gold ore. It's going to take a while to get used to that. I think it's going to take quite a while to get used to that. I'm so used to the little clumps of ores. So anyway, Parablast Ferni. Uh, this building took me... You can come down. Took me forever to build because I messed up on its dimensions at least once. Uh, the next part is that Blast Furnaces now require water. Don't ask me why. They just, they require water. We've got the new water physics. I have to work with the new water physics now. So this has, and if you're ever, okay, here's your quick and dirty tutorial. This part here with the butterfly valve, that's the outlet. This is the, this is the pipe that's going to make sewage. Okay. If you're ever sure, the one with the little quarter turn valve is the out. And the one with the, uh, the funky flange here, that's the in. So you'll need water from somewhere. We don't have electricity yet, so it's uh, a wind-powered pump. And last night, this, this pump actually looked way cooler because <laughs> they only had the one pump model. So there's a new pump model that's electric. I, I'm not really sure what it looks like. Um, I liked the previous model a lot better than this one. But what do you do, right? So this had to come all the way down to a water supply. I didn't want to put it right right next to the water. Uh, it causes a lot of a lot of grossness. So I had to trench this all out. We're a little a little further than the uh, 45 degrees as required by health and safety. But uh, since I'm the only one in this world, I'm not worried much. We're at. I had to do a few things here. So steel also requires. Unfortunately, I can't make any steel right now. I don't have a lot of iron. So if we want to make steel, for some reason, they're still there. They talk about recipe bloat, and there's there's two different types of steel that still produce. It's still steel, right? But you need quick lime to make steel. You make quick lime by burning limestone. So. Once I've got this place all plumbed in and properly, I burnt an entire stockpile of limestone and decided to see how the air pollution effects worked by running a pipe up 20 some blocks to see what the difference would be. Uh, we're at 3-4% pollution one. I'm not entirely sure how. I'm assuming it works like a big sphere, right? Like if I put it high enough, the sphere of pollution up there wouldn't make it all the way to the ground. I'm not sure about that. What we're going to do is we are going to smelt a whole bunch of iron. Now this doesn't um, smelting iron here doesn't. You're using your current uh, level of smelting skill. Not advanced smelting, just regular smelting. So this smelt iron recipe is... Uh, you get one... For two ore, you get a bar and 0.4 tailings. 
So it's, how does that scale if I wanted 100 iron? So I'll get 40. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's uh, eight, eight blocks uh, worth of slag. Or eight, uh, five point storage things worth of slag. And only five minutes. That's nice and quick. This whole crucible, this does look kind of nice. I like this animated part here. So we're making smoke. We're not only making smoke, we're making sewage. So out of this pipe here, this pipe is busy pouring poop on the ground. Uh, eventually, this will be a waste filter. Which, I need steel to make a waste filter. Oh my, we're already at 5% pollution. I think if we just sit here and wait, we can watch it just get really, really gross. 5, 5. I'm pretty sure our smoke is up high enough in the air as to not bother us too much. I didn't keep track of what any specific grid square was when I started, though. I imagine this is going to be a bit of an issue, though. So I'm going to let that burn. I've got some other stuff to make, but I need a whole bunch of iron and steel to do it. And I'm going to have to make several trips back and forth. In order to do what i got to do. Now you can see the... I don't know if that's artifacting or whatever. It's a big visual glitches there on the bridge. Uh, the game is, is kind of used to you running at one speed. If you use the fly command, it, the game just totally, totally loses its mind. Just try to keep up. I just think it's not easy to stay out of the rhubarb with this thing. It uh, doesn't. It steers a little, a little heavy for my liking. Or, uh, plus, it's not four-wheel drive. Like, okay, granted, there's, there's no hubs to lock in, but... If they can make one that doesn't, like, immediately hang up on the first level of, uh, of ground you run into, that'd be really awesome. I know the, uh... The excavator. Kind of... Travels up hills, but not very. Not very at all. I'm not quite sure what they would have to code to make it do that. Um, given that they're still working on patching other things out of this game, I'm fairly certain that uh, off roden is not one of the plans they have. Now, far be it from me to ask for a... Uh, Oh, I don't know. Some kind of World War One era tracked monstrosity with a dozer blade on the front. But uh, I can't say I wouldn't miss one. The skid steer is a really nice thing, but it seems like there should be an intermediate between going from uh, running the D1 to a skid steer. So it's a bit of a big jump there. Oh, don't. You definitely have to make this uh, this bridge wider. So now, now we have our first big real problem. Is that I need to make a bunch of steel. I have. I only have. I only have forty-two quick lime. Making forty-two steel, I guess. Forty-two. Okay. Here's the big issue. Is that. Our stockpile in there is full. I don't know if we're getting are we getting pollution leak out of it yet. Five. That might be air pollution. One. Two. I'm not sure if it's air pollution or not. Down here, we should have... It doesn't look too much more gross. 
Okay, so the... Ooh, that's... Oh, that's nasty. That's... That's icky. But the first thing I gotta make is a bunch of steel, so I can make a waste filter, so I can have a little less pollution here. But, the stockpile inside that thing is full. I need to give this thing access to a bunch of coal. And when I do that... Oh, I don't know, I expect you to spit a whole bunch of tailings into there. Now we have to sit here and swap this all out. One thing at a time. And we're going to find out. We're going to make the mistake. Will this fit down that big ramp into the slag tomb? Let's see. Tailings weigh nothing, but they take up a lot of space. But we're still getting a little bit out there. So I'm going to fill the truck up here, and we're going to turn around and find out. As we begin our descent into the tunnels, I'm pretty sure I can make this first turn. I've, I've rotted this corner out so much that in the worst case scenario, I can back up a bit and do this. But I don't know if we're going to fit... Oh, it's so fast going downhill. If... Is the cargo going to fit? Oh, the cargo barely fits. And we're hurtling down here at a breakneck speed of uh, 1.4. I don't know how fast that is. It doesn't have a speedometer. As you can see, it's a little it's a little short on gauges. Just has the uh, the open grating there. And I made this one a little bit wider. Oh no, no, no! You're gonna fit. You're gonna do it. Ah, we made it. All right. We made it. We can drive into the slag tomb. Which you see is a bit more spacious since the last time I was down here. Hop out. Uh, I guess in hindsight, I should have had a... I should have had a stockpile ready to go. But Okay, I got room back there. I'm not quite so sure I'm going to keep making that trip. I haven't played with the elevator. I've actually never played with the elevator in this game. And I'm thinking maybe I should. Instead of driving everything down here into the tomb, I might build an elevator entrance. I'm thinking that might not be a terrible idea. So we'll put you there. And empty this all out. No, it's not what I wanted. Why are you like this game? Miss lag. Mm. Fine, I'll put all your fuel down right here. You're going to do this to me. Really, I can't... I can't use a shovel. I have to click with an empty hand to get the shovel. That seems odd. Well, I'd, uh, I'd say we've got a little bit of air pollution going on here. Kind of like a whole lot. What's this? Oh, that's my waypoint. And you can see this big circle all the way around it. That's not good. Ground pollution... Seems mostly confined... to that spot there. Where all the slag was. There's a bit over here too, but that's just kind of a, a leftover of the running the concrete kiln. It's already looking gross over here. Where are we at? We're at ten. Uh twelve. Got a whole lot of gross on this side. Some of it also might be because of the way I had to put uh yeah, I'll bet you there's a whole bunch all the way down where I had to drive. Maybe not. The game doesn't quite know how to handle uh, tailings in a vehicle. Oh, wow, 18%. 18. Might be because of this poop pipe here. 
Looking pretty nasty down there. What are you, 18? 7? The question whether or not how much of that is related to what? Do I have enough for... How far are you in this project? Oh, you're going to be forever. I don't have time for this. Anybody got time for that? I'm going to grab these and this and this. And we're going to see if we can throw that waste filter together. And maybe alleviate some of this grossness. Oh, and before I get too far ahead of myself, they have added uh, one thing I very, very much like in this uh, waste edition. And crack. That's right. You can now break... You can now break stuff you couldn't break before. It just takes a little longer and a bit more calories. So even with a stone pick, it might take a while. You can still break basalt. Instead of having this great big spot of stuff you can't do anything with. Oh, I didn't... Here we are. The problem is... And the problem is... The problem is you can't do squat with it. Make basalt and you you can turn it into regular stone or you can use it in a concrete recipe. We have strange loop, strange loop, we have these beautiful, beautiful lightly colored blocks. All we ask is for some appropriate dark colored dark colored bricks to go with them. That's all we really want. If you've ever, ever played modded Minecraft, one of the first things people do, I'm building a house out of marble and something that's pitch black. Because Minecraft doesn't have white bricks, it doesn't have anything in a black brick, it doesn't have anything for a good black block, a construction style block. Like a nice, you know, a nice paver or a brick or anything like that. Can't talk and drive at the same time, can I? And one waste filter in... 10 minutes. 10? No, you know what? I don't, I don't have time for that. I do not have 10... I do not have 10 minutes. Sit and waste. Let's take advantage of a mechanic. Just sack out right there. Ah, that's like a, a quick nap during the middle of a video. Ah, I tell you. Wake up just absolutely refreshed. Ready to go to finish it off. Now here's we find out that neither that I have never used this thing. How big are you? You are, what's your footprint? Two by... Two by two? One, two, three by three. Okay. That's your input. And what do you output? Solid ground, insufficient. Ooh. Well, poop. I guess we're not using this thing today, are we? That's unfortunate. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to wait for next episode. Actually, longer than that, because I need 100 steel to learn industry. So, yeah, so I can make the table I need to make all this stuff. Oh, boy. Ah, well, hell damn fart. Um... Well, I will see you in several days when I've processed enough stuff to make this all possible. Till then, I will see you in the future.